Oh God, what have Kabam done? <laughs> what have they done? What have they done with this compensation me lark thing? Oh, hello, I'm Rich the Man. I'm in a, a jumper, or as you Americans call, sweater. And now I'm in a shirt. And now my sleeves are rolled up. And now let's talk Marvel Contest of Champions rated news. Now I did miss this off in today's news, but I wanted to keep it tight to a 10 minute time frame because the problem is, the more things that I cover, and obviously with that raid deal, it did mean that it just pushed a few things out. But as you know, compensation stuff has just come in. But it's something I want to talk about first. It's the Axe 6.3 completion deal, which, let's... <laughs> Best friends. Oh, come on, just take the year off, come back when, <laughs> when you get it right. Because, like, unfortunately, a lot of this stuff doesn't really balance out well with <sighs> number one, people's expectations, but number two, value. Value for money. Uh, it's not exactly something I think a lot of us find. Um, and it was actually quite surprising because Raid Shadow Legends came up in discussion today in my Alliance chat. They were talking about the fact that we haven't received anything in compensation. And Raid Shadow Legends, actually, whenever they make a mistake, they reward back generously, and also they do it within 20, uh, two hours, not 24 hours, two hours of a mistake actually happening. And no, I, I don't I don't think that's fair for me to really compare off, but I'm just saying there's other games out there that do things a little bit more toot sweet. Obviously, the feedback from this is as follows. It's a $500 deal or £500 deal or whatever denomination it is in your country. And it is like, it's, it's a lot. That's a lot. I think if you spent $500 on like crystals alone and the equivalent of what I spent yesterday I think was something like £130, £120, I, I can't remember if it's maybe like even a lot worse than that. So yeah, 4,200 4, units, I mean you guys watched the video, you know exactly how piss poor that was. So I think a lot of us are looking for some value for money with the games that we play and man, just like at times you just feel that it's, it's a case of like meet us in the middle here. I know that Cyber Monday deals and occasionally with those unit packs with additional things on will give us some sort of value. So, am I expecting a Cyber Monday deal with the Tier 5 Class Catalyst Crystal attached? Oh, I don't know. I feel that may be too premium for that to be added in as a thing. Because at the moment we saw that on... We see that in very exclusive areas and with great rarity. But it would be nice to say that that would be in the Cyber Monday deals. I may do a prediction of what I feel is going to be in them, but... Yeah, let's face it, guys. I think we're we're very much just looking at this going, oh, hell no. Especially because it's only one tier five class catalyst fragment crystal. Um, but also it's uh, the fact that you get revives and health potions and things just seems pretty darn worthless. And now on to holy shit storm, Batman. What the heck is going on with this? This is, is this compensation? Is it not? Is it worded in a way that makes you think that this has been the compensation <laughs> seven days in the making? Um, okay, well the answer is, no it's not, but oh my god. So, Kabam Mike has this statement to uh, release on the subject. He basically says, we have another update on the current situation for you all. For all summoners that are currently unable to claim rewards from Friday, November 8th, we have a resolution. We'll be duplicating the rewards that you currently have stuck, slash unable to claim, and will be sending them to affected users in an in-game message. We hope to have this done by the end of the day. After this, you will still have items in your stash. We will either remove them or let them expire naturally. Regarding the Alliance War Season rewards and compensation, now that we have been able to resolve that the last remaining issues from this weekend, we'll be focusing on these two tasks. We will still need some time to gather the data required to send out Alliance War Season rewards. First, we have to collect the data on where each Alliance was on the leaderboard pre-issues and sort them into those positions. When that is completed, we can run the rewards payout as usual. This will still take some time. We hope to get the season rewards out to you all, pl all players but on Wednesday, the November the 20th. Great day, by the way. The original date that the season would have ended and delivered the rewards. Okay. Compensation for the issues encountered and for the additional Alliance Wars will follow shortly after this that to you all thank you all for your continued patience as we work to rectify these issues for you for me personally richard manning of devon in england drinking a beer ah thank you appreciate it so being real on the subject um 
the compensation for the claim ball rewards thing is done, that's fine. It leaves us outstanding on the compensation for the scuffness of last week. We've also got the Alliance War Season rewards, which are technically coming out on time as normal. Great. And also we've got a you spent in spent lots of resources and boost and things on stuff. So here's some compensation for that. We've got a lot of compensation outstanding. Times are ticking as well. And if it's all going to be handled by the 20th of November, I think a lot of players are just going to go, oh, God's sake. The biggest problem is if you go to the general discussion, you're going to see stuff ping up left, right, center about the compensation packages of some kind. I shall go into a bit of a Sean Connery. The fact is, it's very kind of frustrating to see that it says like price compensation on some of the messages. Like when it hits your inbox and says that, it makes you kind of think, oh, is this to do with like last week's thing? What is that? And like, nah. It's like there's too many thought processes there behind that. And I think it may have been best to say something like a reward stash mistake or stash over stock or something that just em emphasizes something that's different than saying compensation because if they kind of go down the route of using the word compensation in titles and especially today it's like saying oh so this is the compensation package from last week and then everyone goes to the forums and complains and they don't read their statement from Mikay and then um they don't think that everything's okay because it's not it just looks like it's the wrong message given out to players and everyone gets confused and then you close the threads. Meh. Okay, now it's to give you a blast from the RTM past. And this is from the last time, this big down day of, super, of Secret Empire Forever. Not Super Empire Forever. Secret Empire Forever. And the compensation packages were representative of two arenas that were, as you can see, getting some nice things back for those boosts. Doubled up. There was three of like five star ones, and then I got another email for three. So basically, I got 40 staminas and then six of each of the ones that you can see on screen at the moment. But the fact is, the date stamps are very important. The scuffness happened on the 2nd of June 2017, and then we got the compensation on the 13th of June 2017. So, yes, if the math serves right, 11 days to respond to that. And obviously, in this case, we're up to seven. But I think the game is more of a case we expect higher standards this time than we've ever done. Back in the day, if you were to look at the standards and the competitive side of things, back between 2015 and 2017, the game didn't have overly a uh, big push to be super competitive, apart from arenas. And maybe to do with Alliance Quest to a degree. But now we've got Alliance War Seasons, We've got more competitive edges, we've got five star arenas, we've got more push to grind out over a weekend and free time. Not to mention the fact that the spending is a lot more based on the rarity of the things that you get. I think that's where I want to leave my point and that is a case of pressure. And as the game has evolved and there's more pressure for us as players to be very competitive in game, Kabam definitely need to feel the pressure in making the game perform to an excellent standard. And yes, there are bugs, but at the same time, it's them going, do you know what? These players have, have, have kind of suffered that down day. It's not about going, oh, do you know what? I guess we've got to give them something. Let's give them something that's kind of equal to or kind of a an average-ish level. Let's make them go, leave them with a smile on their face. They bloody love that they did. That made them quite happy for something that wasn't out of our, it was out of our control. But at the same time, we want to give them something that makes them want to come back. That retention that makes them go, yes, we're, re we're really happy to come back each and every every day. I'm happy they'd like to play loads of hours. I'm happy when I hear that they are, they're happy with certain experiences. And yeah, just the kind of rewards against the grind, which let's face it, we grind out so much. There we have it. That has been Marvel Contest of Champions News After Dark. I don't know, I'll call it After Dark News. After Hours News. Uh, yeah, I don't plan to upload three videos in a day unless there's something that should be covered and I feel this should have been covered because it gave out the wrong message with compensation. Also, it was nice to get that old school footage back. I'll maybe put a link in the description if you wanted to check it out. There's no point to, to check it out. But if you want to see some old school Rich the Man back in the day, then check it out. It's a five minute video. You... you It'll probably waste some time in your life. In any case, thanks very much for watching and uh, check out some other content posted here, news up there, and crystal opening here from today. I'll see you all in tomorrow's video, which is a pre-recorded video, and then Sunday's pre-recorded as well. Yeah. Bye!